Right guys, unfortunately um, I have run into some trouble with my roaster. It's, I've done probably about 400 kilos plus of uh, coffee beans through this and um, and on the last roast as I was getting it to charge temperature it switched itself off. Um, what I, I did find was that um, in this um, roaster there is actually a safety cutoff switch installed. Um, I do recall at the time um, when I was speaking to North Coffee they did ask if I wanted that in. Um, not knowing what it was I said well yeah sure and they installed it for me thankfully and what it does obviously is as it gets to too hot um, it will switch itself off. Now, let's see if I can get this light through here if I can see so it's this blue switch over there that's actually a safety cutoff switch um, installed now I tried to get a hold of North Coffee via my previous email contact and unfortunately it seems like they no longer uh, respond to those emails um, and uh, Mill City Roasters, I think, um, has taken over their sales, um, which, which I guess is a good and bad thing, being that um, I guess you're not dealing with China anymore um, and you're dealing with a, a, an American company. But I did find that the response was not as quick. Um, it has taken nearly three weeks to get the spare parts that I needed. What I did get was, um, I got these, uh, see this, got this Fotec uh, SSR replacement, and I also got a, um, a power switch um, replacement, which I haven't installed the power switch uh, on because it does require some soldering, but I've, uh, I've installed the Fotec uh, SSR in there. And obviously I've uh, reset the safety cutoff, which um, even before replacing the SSR, um, I did notice it was working, um, but I thought I'd better replace, you know, put, uh, put in the, the, the good bits in there, so hopefully it won't uh, cut itself off again. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, and I'm about to do another roast. Uh, for the first time in I think almost four weeks so uh, wish me luck